Hey everyone, welcome to Live of Hair. I'm James Atkinson, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about hey, one of my favourite. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get on my video. God, what are these apprentices like it? Welcome to the Life of Hair. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about a fantastic balayage technique, a cracker that everybody needs in their toolkit, one that I've talked about previously, but today we're going to use it in a slightly different way. This is going to be about blending out highlights that haven't been refreshed for six months but do not want to go back to having those really bright highlight effects. So we're going to use bleach, we're going to use boards to blend out those highlights beautifully, quickly, easily, simply, and it's one of those techniques that I know you're going to love using in the salon. And don't forget, if you enjoy this episode, then smash that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to join me down in the comment for a lengthy debate about what you think of the possibilities of using bleach without foil. Until next week, I will see you then. Great. Cool. This is the starting point for our technique. As I mentioned in the intro, this colour has not been refreshed for over six months. And my lovely client, Patricia, is also fed up of having such a strong regrowth that she had before. And her lifestyle now doesn't lend itself to having her colour done so often. She's into that life, time in life where she is retiring. So the things that we're going to do first of all is pre-section the hair into a hot cross bun. But we're also going to leave out a small section of hair that is like a stretched out triangle shape in the front. And we're going to just put a few foils in there to make it a little bit brighter. Section off from roughly the highest point of the head all the way down to the back of the ear and then clip the two front sections neatly out of the way and work on the back section. Around one inch or one and a half inches from the hairline, you could go closer should you so wish, but I don't tend to worry too much about going too close to the hairline at the bottom. Personal preference, that is all. Uh, we're going to weave a section out and then place our board in. Now this board is particularly useful because it's got teeth on it and when we apply the product the teeth help to regulate our saturation so we don't end up with too much product on the hair. This is one of the big issues that you may find with using bleach and no foil. The control of your saturation is paramount in this situation. If you do not want splodging or bleeds or anything of that sort you really really must be able to control the amount of product that is on the hair at this stage so that you have got just the right amount for it to create surface tension surface tension is where the product is ample enough to lift the hair however not too much that it will start to leak and bleed it is a skill in itself and one well worth practicing. It is how a balayage works when you do freehand painting. You can place the hair down that was above it on top of it and you will not get blobs or bleeds. However, too much product and not enough control of your saturation will result in some questionable results. In this particular instance, I'm using a lightener that is similar to a clay blaze lightener, like a free hand, but not exactly, in the sense that it's called power lift. Power lift is a cream based, eight levels of lift bleach, but the consistency of the product is considerably thicker than a powder bleach. So in this instance, I am feeling pretty confident that I will not get any transference of the color onto any of the hairs underneath. We work our way up the head in one inch sections. There is absolutely no need to do any less than that, as we are creating something softer than what highlights would normally create. If we do sections that are smaller than that, we will simply put too much lightness into the hair and then we may as well have done a traditional set of foils. Clean sections, as always, is super important with any technique. Clean sections give you a clear guide as to where you're going. 
and then you can be more precise with your application. I particularly like this type of balayage board for this particular technique. Oh, and as you can see here, if there is any lightener or too much lightener, if there's too much lightener too close to the head, then just use your tail comb or your finger and disperse that product more evenly throughout. My lovely client here, Patricia, has been highlighting her hair for many, many years now, but has come to the conclusion that it is time for her to stop doing quite so much colour to her hair. As I said, coming to that time in life where retirement looms. This specifically is a great technique for those clients that you have that are becoming maybe a little bit more money conscious. So I'm kind of aiming this one at the maturer client and younger obviously at the other end of the spectrum you have many students who want to be blonde but don't necessarily have the financial wherewithals to maintain being as blonde as they would like to be so having a technique like this that you can offer them is very very useful because they can have bright blonde ends from an ombre technique that you could start off with first and then when they get a little bit bored or you can offer them an alternative service in a few months time this is all about building that color journey that everybody seems to be talking about now especially with the advent of these balayage techniques being so prominent things that we're experiencing is clearly clients are going longer in between services so don't be fooled give them a little bit at a time. Quite often clients come in with pictures of unbelievable transformations. This is all good and well, but this means that you won't see your client from one year to the next. But if you don't offer them everything in one hit, or you say it's not possible for you or your lifestyle or your maintenance regime, then you can offer them subsequent services and also the outlay of some of these techniques in terms of the initial cost to the client is extremely high. So I would be wary or certainly use that to your advantage. Say to your client, yes, we can get this done in one hit, should you so wish, but it's definitely not going to be cheap. But we could spread the cost over several visits and you can get the result you want with better condition and it's less stress for you, the stylist. I think that is totally the way forward in my book and that is how I have been operating on the shop floor for some time now. You don't have to give them everything. I think hairdressers are natural people pleasers. We want everyone to be happy with everything we do 100% of the time and that means we feel compelled to give them everything they want from that image they found on Pinterest or Instagram. But don't be lured into this specific scenario where you're watching people on Instagram do these eight hour transformations because that is kind of a form of showboating. That is them showing off their wonderful hairdressing skills to the world and saying, look at me, I can do whatever it is, black hair to platinum in one day. Now, generally speaking, for you and me as salon stylists, we don't necessarily have the luxury or the sort of clients who are willing to pay for eight hours worth of appointments. So be aware guys, it's not always in your best interest to accept the picture that is put in front of you. Give them some alternatives and try and lead them into a journey. Don't get caught up in the barrage of social media. In this front section, we're doing a nice foiling technique. You'll have seen this in one of my previous videos. In fact, my last video that I posted, I did something very, very similar. Take a triangle section, as you saw in the beginning. We would do a very fine slice on the front hairline, and then we weave the section behind also ultra fine. I cannot stress to you enough when I say how ultra fine it is. And the reason that I've brought that up is because I was recently working on something and I was trying to stress how ultra fine I meant. 
and it really wasn't necessarily coming across. I mean one row of hairs, thick almost. Just if you think of it like that, you'll get this absolutely bang on the money. And it's a great technique because it offers those clients, like my client here, Patricia, the opportunity to still feel nice and blonde, but have that much softer technique going on elsewhere. After the first two foils, the sections get slightly wider in this instance. So I've gone from almost back to back with a slight gap in between, and then I did a three millimeter uh, spacing and then a five millimeter spacing. Four foils, that's it. That's all you need to do in that front section. And that will give Patricia a nice blonde fringe area. And that is the job done in terms of the technique here. A very simple, easy to do technique. Very quick to apply, no more than half an hour from start to finish. Let it process for the manufacturer's development time or as long as you deem necessary to get the lift you want. In this instance, I only processed it for 35 minutes at room temperature and this is 30 volume developer. Once I had rinsed and dried it, I then toned it with a level nine Redkin Shades EQ toner and left to process on the root area down to the, just past the parietal ridge and the occipital bone. And then I diluted that a little bit further for the ends, just to give a soft, natural blonde feel throughout. This will grow out seamlessly for Patricia. She will not need to worry about how often she's getting her hair done. If you've enjoyed this episode, then don't forget, smash that thumbs up button. Chat to me down in the comments. Like I said, tell me what you think about using bleach without foil on your clients. And I very much look forward to seeing you next week for another episode of The Life of Hair.